Hi friends. So um, I'll wait another minute or two um, for people to sign on, but I just wanted to hop on here. I just got this kind of little tap on my shoulder, um, kind of spiritually to um, get on here. And I've been going live on my personal account, but I've actually never been specifically live on this account, like in the moment. Um, I've definitely made videos and shared them later, but I haven't really gone live um, specifically on this account. Um, so I ju I'm just sitting here. I just got to my pelvic floor physical therapy treatment place. And um, I've just been kind of reflecting on the ride here and even going into this week from this weekend. Um, I am starting today my final four is what I'm calling it. Um, my final four treatments for this kind of phase um, that I've kind of been in for the past year and a half. Um, those of you who don't know my story, um, definitely check out my page below and I share a lot of my journey um, there and through a couple videos that I've done. Um, but I have been in pelvic floor physical therapy for the past year and a half um, since January of 2019. Um, but the story kind of begins way before that. Um, I have known since I was like 12, 13 years old that something wasn't right inside my body. And um, I kind of held on to that for so many years, that pain of just deeply knowing something wasn't right and not being able to voice it um, and not being able to step into the healing of it until um, pretty much 2016. I've been kind of on a shorter journey from then on, um, kind of facing this thing head on. And so for those of you who've been following my journey, again, I'm just hopping on here um, to talk about um, a quick reflection before I go inside um, these doors. Um, I remember uh, January of 2019, um, walking through these doors for the first time or sitting probably in a spot close to this and being so nervous about going in I, I wanted to drive home and um, because I knew that this journey would be um, really really difficult and I knew that I was um, kind of ripping the band-aid off some wounds that I had kept um, kind of concealed for years um, I had done so much other healing on my journey um, many of you who know my story know that my pelvic pain and pelvic dysfunction and vaginismus um, is rooted in sexual trauma. And so I knew that by walking through these doors, I will show you. Again, I'm at my PT place about to start, um, I think it's week 71 or 72 um, of treatment over the past year and a half and also um, my final four. So this Monday is one of the four, my final four treatments. Um, because I've kind of come to a place of healing um, that my PT is kind of satisfied with and I am and we've I've prayed over it um, at first I thought maybe my end date would be some at the end of June um, but I'm actually a little bit ahead of schedule with what I've been able to do with my PT and on my own um, I'm still struggling with dilating on my own um, but I know that will come in time if needed but I feel like even without that at this point, um, I've been able to go through all the sizes of Intimate Rose. Um, shout out to Intimate Rose, uh, Amanda, um, for creating uh, products that made this much less traumatizing than it could have been. Um, and although it was really difficult to get to number eight, the size of dilator that I'm on, um, without your products that felt like more gentle, um, I don't know, and colorful, <laughs> um, I don't know if I would have been, um, and I won them in a raffle the first four so um, I don't know that I would have been um, you know as apt and willing to use them so I'm actually gonna put Amanda's information here on the bottom um, but anyway anyone who's just jumping on or watches this later um, I am just kind of doing a random reflection on um, sorry I'm just writing uh, the place intimate rose uh, I'm just doing a random, random reflection on this journey and kind of what it's been like for me. Um, and just sitting here reflecting before my appointment. Um, I have one of my last four appointments today of treatment and um, it's really, there's a lot to process in these kind of final four treatments and the days that are in between and beyond. Um, it's been a very long journey over 16 years of pain and um, to be crossing the finish line of that is not 
to be taken lightly, I believe. Um, and I've learned so much about myself, my faith, my body. Um, I've kind of come back into my body um, after many years of just knowing that there is something wrong and not being able to um, talk about it, heal it, uh, face it. And uh, I've spent many years because of that being very disconnected from my body. So um, I've grown in incredible ways, um, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Um, this journey of vaginismus, pelvic pain, pelvic dysfunction is not for the faint of heart. It is really difficult. It is treacherous. It is up and down peaks and valleys. It's um, grieving and gratitude and um, heartbreaking and um, hopeful simultaneously. Um, there were some days where I would go so quickly from being absolutely on my knees heartbroken by um, the devastation of um, sexual trauma from my past, but also how it impacted me now so many years later physically. Um, you know, I do have an internal injury from my past that contributed to my vaginismus from a sexual assault when I was 12 years old. And um, that was really hard to kind of even ad admit or accept and then move through. Um, it was excruciatingly painful and still is sometimes um, internally when my PT is doing myofascial release. But um, I've been able to um, figure out, you know, be able to physically be so connected to my body that I've been able to kind of um, bear that pain in a way, but not because it's painful, but, um, you know, it can be painful sometimes, but you don't want to force it if there is pain, but I've been able to move through it to a place of no pain, um, which is a miracle in itself. So I just wanted to get on here right before my appointment. Um, I have about five minutes until I go in to my pelvic PT session. Um, you know, one of many that I've had throughout the past year and a half. Um, we'll probably do about 30 minutes of myofascial release with my PT. With uh, I've done, I've shown some images of it before on this page, but basically my uh, PT will do some internal release with her like one finger, um, and she'll be moving the muscles around in the tissue. Um, you know, because vaginismus is what I have, and many of you can relate, I'm sure. Um, but those who are just following my journey or haven't had experience with pelvic pain or pelvic dysfunction or pelvic floor issues. Um, they all kind of play into each other and uh, so and I, I had some back issues from a plane crash that I was in and it all kind of played together but to be coming to a place of knowing that I've healed so much like having tangible evidence that I've healed so much is um, almost more than I can fathom which I think is a testament to my faith and um, to the endurance that I've learned in this process and um, it's really really moving for me to be in this place um, I never thought I'd get here um, I spent many years in the grief of knowing that if I were to let someone into uh, my life like as an intimate partner that this would be um, a big black cloud that would follow me and I swore I would never I would find out the hard way I knew I knew that I would find out like on my wedding night that something was very wrong and um when I was intimate with my husband or and it was so far in the future um that when I couldn't not face it in January or actually the previous June so June 2019 when I was like I know that I have to look at this before um not it's too late but bef sooner than later because I knew the pain that was coming um, the painful process, just knowing um, I've never been able to use a tampon and um, there were so many other like ramifications and issues that I was having. Um, and then the back pain from the accident that I was in, the crash that I was in, um, just was perpetuating the, the pelvic pain and I knew I just had to face it. So um, a year and a half ago, I walked through these doors. I'm gonna show you the doors. Um, so this is a pelvic PT place that I go to. Um, and my pelvic PT is just so incredible. Um, so I'm going to be seeing her in four minutes, but I just want to get on here and do a re I'm all over the place because this journey has been so incredibly long, but it's also been so incredibly incredible. Um, just to be in this place where I can see the finish line and I can feel the tangible healing within my body and I can be so connected to my body that like literally as I'm sitting here right now I can control my pelvic floor which like is a foreign concept to most people um and to you know kind of take the pressure off and um 
you know, I care enough to do that, that I have compassion for my body now for all it's been through and how it protected me in those years of um, sexual trauma. And, um, you know, to finally embody fully like that my, my physical body has caught up to the woman that I am today. And I felt so much disconnect there, um, you know, even, you know, as usual like when you're 18 you become like a woman but I never connected to that word because this problem that I was having this pelvic pain this vaginismus this lack of being able to wear a tampon if I wanted to um, even I didn't even feel obligated to I just wanted the option um, and just being able to sit here being able to do that with pretty much no problem now um, being on intimate rose dilator number eight and um, just having so much hope for my now and my future intimately um, is such a miracle and for anyone out there who's still in the midst of their journey struggling um, I still have difficult days even though I'm I've come this far um, you know last week there was a lot of tears and that's okay and um, I've been really sick as a result of this treatment. I've had really bad vasovagal symptoms, nausea, um, hot flashes, um, deep deep pelvic ache, pelvic spasms um, because of so much so many years of trauma um, that my body held on to. Um, so it's it's not going to be a perfect journey and it's not something to compare um, that you're too far behind or too far ahead of someone else. Um, I just want any woman out there to know that you're not alone that's what it comes down to is that we're not alone in this and that um, pelvic pain is is something that is very very difficult to explain to people um, you know it's hard for people to relate to it's kind of an invisible illness or or um, or pain it's an invisible thing people cannot see it it's a very intimate thing because it has to do with the most intimate parts of our bodies and so I just wanted um, to kind of shed light a little bit about what the journey has been like for me I'm going to go into my PT session because now it's the exact time I need to be in there. Um, but I just wanted to um, shed a little light on what the past year and a half has been like. And I'm going to try to do a couple more of these um, within the next two weeks of my treatment. Um, the final four, I'm down to the final four pelvic PT treatments of a year and a half of treatment for vaginismus, uh, pelvic pain, and pelvic floor dysfunction. And I just want everyone to know that we're not alone and um, you are so much more than the pain and um, sending love to everyone out there and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.